They didn't do anything. They just pretty much acted like they wanted it to go away. Vivian Mabry demanding answers and action from New Haven Public Schools. I want them to rectify this. I want them to fix it. I want some sort of plan put in place. After she says her 17 year old son was randomly attacked October 26th by a 15 year old schoolmate. The victim was sitting in class here at Cooperative High School when his mother says another student walked in, held a lighter to his head and lit his hair on fire. The boy has recovered from his physical injuries, but mentally. I don't know. I ask him, he says he's fine. Compounding the issue, Mabry says the alleged culprit only got a five day suspension and is now back walking the same halls with her son. As for the school's response, Mabry calls it at best botched. I didn't receive a letter. I didn't receive a phone call. I didn't receive anything from the nurse telling me my child has was okay or if he was injured. A school spokesman says initial efforts to reach mom proved unsuccessful, but she has since met with the principal. The spokesman wasn't able to go on camera, but issued a statement saying in part, this appears to be a minor incident. Police, security, school and emergency responders and nurse engaged. The alleged victim was treated at school and did not require any further treatment. This should have been handled a lot better. I'm Mario Boone, News 8.